Hey guys, welcome back to this place. If you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen, this is Loki, and today we are watching season two, episode seven of Lost. If I look very similar to the last episode, it is because it is right after. I could not not watch the next one when they left it where they left it. Watch this episode have nothing to do with that, um, but I just am very stressed and I need Shannon to be okay. So in the last episode, we got very close. We got a lot more information on Shannon. Uh, I felt very, very bad for her. I feel like I completely understand her character now and where she's coming from. She's also so, so young. And then they shot her. So we'll see. We'll see if they just gave us all this background to make us love her even more and then take her away from us, you know? wouldn't put it past them. We also had uh, Ana Lucia, Mr. Echo, Sawyer and all them coming towards our people and their camp, which is kind of how the shooting happened. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Rose will get reunited with Bernard. So that cuteness will ensue. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, and Jack can just save everybody because I have faith in him, even though I had faith in him with Boone as well and that didn't work out so great, but I'm choosing to keep faith. Also Claire and Charlie kind of got a bit of tension going on, possibly because he fell off the wagon, remains to be seen. Anyway, that is all that I'm going to ramble at you. <laughs> I'm just avoiding clicking play because I'm scared but gotta do it. So let's get into this episode and see what happens. Oh, shit's fallen. Oh, oh. I, I wondered based off the title of this episode, if we were gonna see the Tailey's perspective of shit. Oh, Mr. Echo. There's Libby. I wonder if these kids got taken and are now with the others because Libby in the last episode said did you see the kids or whatever what she said yeah did you see the kids <gasps> there's a teddy bear oh my god that was the teddy bear I promise we're gonna get you home soon okay don't make promises, girl. You can't be doing that. Would you look after the children? There's something I have to do. That's a lot of pressure. Uh, okay. Stay with this nice woman. I'll be back in a minute. Where are you going, Mr. Echo? Oh, is he getting the dead bodies? Oh, my leg! My leg! No! Oh, is it bad? Oh, yeah. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's not that bad. I broke my leg skiing up at So in Vermont. I was on this run. It's going pretty fast. I was racing this cute ski patrol guy. I went off this mogul, lost my edge, and bam! Oh, my God! Ugh. Snapped my left leg. Now that, that was bad. That was bad, what the fuck? She's good at talking to people though. I need some help. There's someone in the jungle, it's alive. Help. I know him. Is it help. Bernard? <gasps> help. I need you to unbuckle your seatbelt and grab the branch next to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then slide down. <gasps> Do it for dark! Do it for dark! <sighs> Alright, hold on tight, okay? Okay, that guy? I'm coming up to get you. I'm pretty sure <laughs> he's the dad for Make It or Break It. <laughs> if anyone's ever seen that. One of the Peace Corps. 
Oh, damn. They still have that? What happens to him? I'm just happy somebody your age actually knows what it is. I think everybody knows what the Peace Corps is. We're like 15 years in the future. What's your name? Right? Goodwin. <gasps> I'm Ana Lucia. Oh, he's Goodwin? Shit. Shit. That means something bad happened to him. Something fucked up. I'm sorry to know your name, sir. You were the one who pulled the dead bodies out oh, of the water? He wants to know about Rose. Yes. She's not in there. Or any of them African American? She's not in there. No. Oh. She's alive on the other side of the ice. That's my wife. I can't find her. I will pray for her. She's out there. Where the hell are the rescue planes? They're not coming. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh god. They're taking to take three people, right? Are they dead? Okay, well then. What happened? Oh, what happened? they're dead. Two people. He got one of them. Oh, is that them? No wallet. No cell phone. But they took three people, right? No keys, nothing. The rest. But he fought them off. They tried to take him? These people were here before us. Yep. I was trying to stand guard. Mr. Echo, excuse me. I had to go to the bathroom. We have a system for that. We go in pairs. Yeah, sorry. <gasps> what if he's a plant like Ethan? What if he's an Ethan? What if he's an Ethan 2.0? I don't trust you, red shirt. He ain't got a red shirt. <gasps> yeah, they do take the kids. What are you doing? What is she doing? Is that a knife? How'd she get a knife? <gasps> what is that? <gasps> what does what it say? That? What does it say? It's a list. <gasps> of who to take? A list of what? Nine. Of us. I don't trust Red Shirt back there, I'm just saying. One of them had a list of us. Mm -hmm. Could have gotten our names from the people they already took. Nobody knew anybody's names the first night. Right. Day. Maybe they're watching us. That's possible, but I don't trust you either. You were gone for two hours yesterday. Mm-hmm. What? Where were you? I was going to the bathroom. For two hours? Stop. That is sus. We're all scared. Stuck in paranoid here. We don't know anything. He's right. Why would they try to infiltrate us? I mean, that's it's crazy. Well, whoever Ethan they are, did it. No, we are here. On the other we side. need to leave this beach. Why did it take him two hours to go to the bathroom? You constipated, bro? You said we needed to keep the signal fire burning. I think it's time we let it go out. I like a good one so far. I just know something fu real fucked up is going to happen to him because of the way they talked about him in the last episode. <clears throat> what the fuck? Anna. Oh, she going to put him in that hole? Oh, she is. Damn. <coughs> She's strong as fuck. She'd carry him that way. What are you doing? You and I are going to have a little talk, Nathan. He wasn't on the plane. What? <gasps> we were in there for two hours. I didn't see him once. That doesn't mean once. he wasn't there. Yeah, just because yeah. you No, I didn't see him either. No. no. I'm pretty good with faces, you know, of the passengers. You... And I did not see him. Well, That's not, not proof. He never talks about himself, it, Nathan. It's... Every time I ask him anything, he just dodges. This isn't proof. If he really were I'm that, sus of him, but this isn't proof. Be... I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Huh. <gasps> Someone's giving him food. That's good, though. He, got, he gave him food. He's got to survive. I'm trying to find out what they did to us. And you're taking care of them. I didn't do anything. 
I was just saying we should like talk to him, keep an eye on him, not like trap him and starve him. I promised that little girl that I would get her back home to her mom. Well, you shouldn't have done that in the first place. You can't make promises that you don't know if you can keep. Also, what if good one's back? Do you have any kids, Anna? You know? Like, I just, I'm just sus of everyone. Oh, grab the rope. I'll pull you up. Unless Goodwin helps him and then he is bad and then that's what gets him killed. <gasps> that would suck. He is bad! He is bad! It was Goodwin! Oh, I should have trusted my instinct. What is it? Isa I don't know. Some sort of bunker. Bunker! Hey. It's a radio. Uh-oh, look at you being fucking suspicious as fuck. Three other guys. They're all athletic, tough, threats. She's getting information. They didn't take you. I think she is sus of him. Good girl. Can I have the knife? Mm, nope. Mm, nope. Girlie, don't do it. I guess it would be suspicious if she didn't. How'd they get an army knife? Sorry? A knife. It's US military. Hmm. Weird, huh? It is weird, and you suspect him, which I love for you because he is bad. How did you find Bernard up in the tree? Why are you asking me about that, Anna? Because she knows you're sus as fuck, bitch! She not dumb. Did he see you out there? Is that why you pretended to be one of us? Ooh. She got your ass. You ran out of the jungle. Ten minutes after the crash. <gasps> you weren't wet. She clocked it all! I love her. You were never even in the ocean. Mm -hmm. She's so smart. I'm really liking her now. Punch him! Stab him! Do something. Did you kill him? Yes, he did. Nathan was not a good person. Well, he wasn't a horrible person. That's why he wasn't on the list. What? Why do they want good people? Wait, wait, why is she not on the list? She's a good person. What about the kids? Did Look, he's a good person. Too? Mr. Echo's a good the children person. Children are fine. Uh, <laughs> Why would they want good people? Because I don't think they're good people. You know, like, that's kind of weird. Yeah, stab him, girl! Damn. Oh, is he the guy we saw stabbed through? Honestly, he was bad, so. Round of applause, round of applause for her. You did good, girl. It really doesn't. Oh, <gasps> Boone! Mayday, mayday. Is there someone there? Oh my God, that's... Who is that? Can you hear me? Repeat your transmission, please. We're the survivors of Flight 815. Oh, okay. No, no, wait a minute. What are you doing? It's them. No, it's not. That's why he repeated it back. I thought it was so weird, but now it makes sense. I'm trying to draw us out. I'm trying to find us. I can understand why no, she was said picked up. He said flight 815. We know our flight number because Goodwin knew our flight number. No, but what if there really are survivors? There are. There are no survivors. There are, but I can understand why she thinks that. But that's her bone reach. Oh my god. Going to be okay. Mm. He talked. You've been waiting 40 days to talk. 
you waited 40 days to cry. She accepted that they might be there forever now. So that's why she's crying, right? She's trying to be strong for everybody else. Oh, damn it, I like her. Where are you from? Yeah, he does not speak huh? English. He's gonna get out and then run, and then run. that's how they find Sawyer and Michael. Others. And then we thought it was the others, but really it was. Can't blame them for reacting that way at this point. I don't know what she Did they take her? Cindy! Oh yeah, because I was looking for Cindy. Yeah, 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 then the whispers started. And she got trigger happy. And I can't. Shannon, please don't die. Please don't be dead. Here. I'm gonna have to wait till the next episode. <sighs> the cliffhangers. I literally wanted to watch this episode so I could see if Shannon lived. It doesn't look like she did. I'm gonna hold on to delusional hope until I know beyond a shadow of a doubt though. Do I want to watch the next episode right now also because I need to know if Shannon is okay. Also, I know she's probably not okay, but like, just let me, let me hold on to this delusional little bud of hope that I have, okay? Just let me have it. Let me have it. <laughs> let me have it <laughs> for now. I wondered, based off the title of this episode, if it was going to be about the tailies, and it was, which I honestly really liked because I wanted to know their backstory. I wanted to know their trauma, like what happened to them on the island. Honestly, they've had a harder time, I would say, um, with the others than, um, I don't know what the other people are called, but like our original core group. Uh, so I cannot blame them for, be for being like super untrustworthy, super suspicious, super scared of Sawyer and Jen and Michael initially, especially because they were also infiltrated just like the other group was with Ethan, they were with Goodwin. So yeah, they really tried to make us think that Nathan was sus, but like maybe dude just had IBS or something like legit. <laughs> Like, I know it sounds like I'm joking, but why was he always in the bathroom? That's a little bit sus. Either that or he was like getting high like Charlie was in the bathroom. But yeah, they definitely made him sus. And then I started slowly kind of suspecting Goodwin as well because there was just moments of him doing slightly suspicious things, but I didn't air it until like right before <laughs> right before they revealed that he was bad i didn't even put together that um like Anna lucia did that he came from the forest and his clothes weren't wet like everybody else's like didn't didn't put it together because i think we also saw bernard in the tree right and his clothes weren't wet because he landed in the tree and not in the water so I was just, I guess, thinking like, oh, he landed somewhere else. And the way that they said his name in the last episode was like, it made me think that something bad had happened to him instead of that he was the bad thing that had happened, right? So 
yeah they got me for a long time with that also i think because he was the dad in make it or break it like he was a good guy <laughs> in that show so i'm kind of used to seeing him as a good guy and so that threw me off as well and again they just made nathan very sus but also <laughs> When they started like going against Nathan, even though I was sus of him, I was like, okay, none of this is proof though, because your proof is like, I didn't see him on the plane. That is, that is, that was a big ass plane. Like there was 40 something survivors on the other side, 20 something here. That's at least 60 people, probably a lot more that didn't survive. Like I don't look at people on planes. Like maybe I'm weird, but like when I'm walking down the aisle to get to my seat, I'm not like, you know, like I'm just <laughs> straight ahead, trying to get to my seat, put my bags up, sit down, you know? So like, I'm not noticing everybody on a plane. And I think most people aren't noticing. Like I notice a few people if they sit next to me, if I've seen them in the waiting area, sure. I would not be like, I didn't see this man on the plane he's fake like also like let's just be honest like some people don't have super memorable faces like i'm sure that plenty of people have seen me on a plane and like completely forgotten because like i feel like i don't have that memorable of a face which is not a bad thing at all like there's plenty of people that you see you know walking down the street and they just look like generic person x and so you just don't ever think about that again now something that is interesting that that does remind me of is you know how uh did you know rather like when we have dreams and you know how you like in your dreams you see people that you don't recognize did you know that like our brains actually can't create people in our dreams that the people whose faces that you see that you don't recognize are just random people you've seen in your life because i always think that's interesting like you think that you're making them up but your brain isn't capable of doing that in a dream state so it just conjures up your vague memories of like people you've seen before on the street that you don't know. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. But that being said, when you're dreaming and you see them, you don't recognize them because you're not fucking paying attention, right? Like that's, that's my point is <laughs> you wouldn't notice, right? Like how many people do we pass by in a day and like just forget about? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's human nature. So I understand why they would latch on to that because they're scared and they don't know what's happening and people are getting, ta getting taken. And they're like, well, I would remember this person if I had seen them before. And like, maybe he is bad because like, we have to have somebody to blame to make us feel better about this, this very out of control situation that we're in. But also, I'm glad that it was like, it's not proof, right? Because it's just, it's not proof. It's not enough to go off of. It's not enough to say like, this person is bad or this person is the person that's doing this bad thing. It's like, no, you can't know that. You need proof, right? So yeah. And obviously poor Nathan, like he just got blamed for what Goodwin was actually doing. And like, if Goodwin hadn't helped him, then he actually would have lived because like Goodwin said, like Anna Lucia would have realized at some point it's not him. And she did actually, because when she wanted to go with him, she knew. She had put the pieces together. She had figured it out. And so, yeah, honestly proud of her. Honestly, really starting to like her uh, I think that she, okay, it's just the male, sorry. I think that she is a very interesting character. I really under, I feel like I understand her a lot more. Like, it's really interesting because, tell me if I heard this incorrectly, but Goodwin said that the reason that they didn't take certain people is because they weren't good people, which one, the other is, that we've seen so far are not good people. So like, why would that be a requirement? Because if you're a good person, maybe you're easier to like mold 
because you're not willing to do horrific things. So they can use like children or threats or whatever against you maybe. I don't know. But I feel like he said that and then it's like, but Mr. Echo's a good person. He showed that like right off the plane into the water. Like we saw him trying to rescue people, him burying the dead bodies, him standing up for other people, like good person. Bernard seems to be a good person. Libby seems to be a really good person. Ana Lucia seems to be a good person. So like, let me actually, excuse me, let me go back and listen to that again because it's just weird. He's like, we didn't take people because they're not good people. And it's like, but you left a lot of people that I would argue are very good people, at least from what we've seen of them. That's what he said. Nathan was not a good person. That's why he wasn't on the list. Okay. Which implies that the people on the list were good people, which again begs the question of like, how do the others define good person and not good person? And why is that a criterion? Is that a word? Why is that part of the criteria? criteria for who they take when they themselves are clearly bad people. And like, I just, again, I just don't understand their definition because Bernard, Libby, Ana Lucia, Mr. Echo, Cindy, all seem like good people. So I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get the the way they define good person, you know? Why did, so we know now that Goodwin wrote the list of people and why he left Nathan off, presumably also why he left the others off. Although initially he did try to take Mr. Echo, but if we believe what he said a little bit ago, it was because they were the biggest, strongest threat, right? So they get rid of the people that are the threat, that who could stop them, at least who they think could stop them. And then they went after the good people and the children, for what fucking purpose, I don't know children maybe to mold and shape into becoming others as they become adults. Good people, I already theorized why good people, but it's just, why do they want people in the first place? And like, has this happened before? Where did the others come from? Once again, rhetorical questions, please don't answer them. This is just me thinking out loud, but like, how did they come to be on the island? Are they also part of the Dharma Initiative? Do they not know anything about the Dharma Initiative? Uh, is that just a coincidence? Is this all a psychological test on everybody on the island? Like, I have questions. Yeah, I have questions. Again, please don't answer them because I'm sure the show will answer them as time goes on, but I'm very curious. Um, like literally she saved a child. How would she not be a good person? She saved the life of a child. What is your definition of a good person if it's not somebody who saves fucking children? Anyway, yeah, I feel like I'm now on board the Ana Lucia train. Also, I believe I'm saying her name right because she said Anna, right? Everyone else keeps calling her Anna, which is not the same. But maybe this is a whole Sawyer situation because I say his name weird too, apparently. But I'm going to keep calling her Anna, Anna Lucia, until I'm wrong, if I'm wrong. Also, did Goodwin, like, steer them towards the bunker? that said quarantine and said Dharma as well and had like the box of shit or no, because he seemed surprised that there was a radio there. So maybe the others don't 
know about the bunkers. They don't know about the Dharma Initiative. Maybe they're in the dark about that. I, I'm unsure. Also, speaking of the fucking radio, we finally know who Boone got through to and why they said we are the survivors of Flight 815 back to him because I was so confused, if you guys remember, when that moment happened and I went back and I listened a few times and I was like, it feels like they're just repeating it back. Like, that's so creepy. Like, are they just trying to be, like, fucking creepy? You know, but no, now we know it was because they were also the survivors of Flight 815. And like, my dumbass <laughs> didn't even con like consider the possibility because I was like, either they're repeating it back to them to be creepy or they're like asking for clarification that this is what they said. But really, Bernard was like, we're the survivors of Flight 815. Like, you know, so... <sighs> that makes sense. That mystery is solved. <laughs> Tick. Um, it kind of sucks because it means that no one outside the island actually heard that distress call. Um, I didn't suspect that they did. Like, I suspected it was the others, but kind of sucks to have confirmation that, like, they were only able to communicate across the island and that most likely no one is, is coming for them. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be wrong. I like my note was she got his ass yeah and then obviously we ended with Shannon and Saeed and all of that so yeah I'm just gonna keep holding out possibly a rational hope that Shannon has somehow survived this I genuinely don't think she has but I'm gonna until that is confirmed and I have to give up hope I'm gonna hold on to like the tiniest little spark of hope that Jack can perform miracles and she will be fine and Sawyer will be fine and everyone will be fine. So that is my hope. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say or not too much more to say. I really like all the characters that I already liked from the tailies. Um, Ana Lucia has grown on me a lot after this and the last episode, I feel like I kind of understand where she's coming from more as a character and like the traumatic shit that she's had to deal with on this island. <sighs> I really like Mr. Echo. I'm curious if he's religious or comes from a religious background just because he said he was gonna pray for Bernard and he was like looking at the Bible. Um, I know those aren't like <laughs> huge indicators, but I don't know. Maybe he was like some sort of preacher or something. We don't really know his backstory yet. Cannot wait to get flashbacks from like these people. Also, we have lost Cindy. We don't know where she is. She like, she poofed out of existence. I like, do the others have her? We all heard the whispers. We saw Walt. It's not looking good for our girl Cindy, but to be honest, I'm kind of the least attached to her because they've kind of shown her the least, right? Like, I really like Libby so far. I really like Mr. Echo. Obviously, like Bernard. Really like Ana Lucia at this point. So, Cindy was kind of just there. No offense to her. But uh, still hope that she's okay. Hope that she lives. Hope that whatever creepy shit the others are doing isn't like murdering people. So, yeah. Let me see. I think that's all that I really have to say for now. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. If you want, you can see the next episode, episode eight right now over on Patreon, which is linked in the description down below. That is if you are watching this on YouTube and Maybe there all of my hopes for Shannon will be dashed into like sad little tears, but until then we will, again, hold on to the tiniest little shred of hope. Um, yeah, if you want, you can also watch my entire full length reaction to this episode. That is also over on Patreon, which is linked in the description down below. Um, yeah. 
Also, if you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps me out if you do all of those things. So yeah, helps other people see the video too. And maybe they also would like to see a very <laughs> chaotic reaction to Lost. I don't know. Anyway, as I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one, episode eight. Until then, bye guys. Also, will I be wearing the same outfit? Am I gonna have to watch it immediately? Like, only one way to find out. That's by watching it. <laughs> See you guys.